The Krasnodar region, the site of the Sochi Olympics, is world renowned for gorgeous mountain landscapes and abundant wildlife. This vast, magnificent territory was also Saran Gazarian's classroom when he earned a doctorate in zoology with an emphasis on the study of bats. As his wildlife studies intensified, so did his political awareness. It became clear to me that bat conservation was at serious risk due to illegal logging, housing development and tourism near their habitats. This was an issue not just for the bat species, but for the complete balance of nature in several precious ecosystems. Saran joined forces with Environmental Watch on North Caucasus as they discovered that President Dmitry Medvedev was building a private villa for himself in the Utrecht Reserve. Vladimir Putin had stripped the reserve of its protected status. The Utrecht Reserve has a number of rare plant and animal species that can only be found in this part of the world. If that biodiversity is lost, it could never be restored. I said to myself, we are losing this site that we have been studying. What's the point of studying it if I know it will no longer exist tomorrow? Seren and Environmental Watch were very brave and uncompromising to speak out about this problem. We implemented a blockade to prevent Medvedev's villa from being built. We started a social media campaign against the project that recruited 10,000 people. This showed the public that the very people responsible for creating these laws were the first to violate them. Surin's actions led to halting the potentially devastating project and reinstating the reserve's protected status. Within months of their victory, Surin and Environmental Watch went to the Black Sea to investigate yet another summer palace, this one for President Putin in a protected old-growth forest. We conducted several actions on the heavily guarded site of Putin's palace. I was arrested and falsely accused of threatening to kill the security guards. This meant facing a serious prison sentence. Zurin's activism has helped to safeguard endangered areas and highlight the connection between government corruption and environmental degradation. Because he was facing imprisonment, he sought asylum in Estonia. If I had stayed in Russia, I would be in prison. Looking forward, my main goal is to continue to try to change people's consciousness so that they better understand that nature isn't something we can just sell off and get rich on. We have to preserve these places for future generations. For outstanding environmental achievement in Europe, the 2014 Golden Environmental Prize is awarded to Suren Gazarin, Krasnodar, Russia, currently in exile.